The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the construction line command. Now you can find the construction line command in the draw toolbar right here. I'm also going to use the line command to draw the lines that I'm going to be needing. I want you to notice that you can find both in the draw panel in the ribbon. Here's line and this is construction line. So you have construction line, line, and to begin I'm going to show you the top, front, and the right side view of this object. I want you to notice that the top and the front view, those two views are just about complete. There's something missing up here in the top view and that is this inclined plane. I don't see, I see the beginning of it which is the maximum width of this piece but I don't see where the inclined plane ends. I need a line right here. I'm going to use construction lines to find that part. Now I want you to notice the right side view is totally incomplete. All I have is this bottom plate, which is this part right here, this bottom plate of the front in the front view, and you can see the plate here in the uh, top view. I'm going to have to complete this part right here in the right side view, which is this part right here in the front, this part right here in the top, and the drill holes that go with it. I also have to put in the inclined plane here in the right side view as well. I'm going to begin by changing to the layout layer. I want you to notice I've already created some layers. I've got center, hidden, layout, and visible. The center, hidden, and visible, that's how we drew everything. Layout is there for construction lines. I'm going to go ahead and pick it. I am now on the layout layer. I'm going to pick construction line. In using construction line, you can actually use it freehand, just pick and pick, but to be accurate, because we're going to want horizontal and vertical lines, for a vertical line, like the first one I want to do, I am want you guys to type in V and enter to give you a vertical construction line. There it is right there. I want you to come in, and this corner is what you're going to project to the top view. I'm going to pick it. And there is a vertical construction line. I press enter to release. Now what I'm going to do is change to the visible layer. And I'm going to select line from the draw toolbar. And I'm going to draw a line from this intersection to this intersection. Enter to release. This is the inclined plane in the top view. This is the inclined plane in the front view. Now I'm going to put the inclined plane in in the right side view. I'm going to change to the layout layer. I'm going to go to the draw toolbar. I'm going to select construction line again. This time I'm going to type in H for horizontal and press enter. And there's a horizontal construction line. And this point I'm going to transfer to the right side view. Press enter to release when you are finished using that command. I'm going to change back to the visible layer. I'm going to select line. I'm going to pick from this point here. It's an intersection, but it's also a midpoint. So I'm going to pick from here to here. Press enter to release. And now here's the inclined plane in the right side view, the inclined plane in the front view, the inclined plane in the top view. The next thing that I'm going to do is this top part right here, I'm going to create it in the right side view. But I have to project points from the top view to the front, to the right side view. And then I'm going to project points from the front view to the right side view. First, I'm going to project these depths from here to here. This area here I have to project it to a 45 degree miter line and then straight down. In order to create the 45 degree miter line I'm going to change back to the layout layer. 
I'm going to pick construction line. And I want you to notice, this is the maximum depth of this object. This is the maximum depth of the object in the right side view. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in H for horizontal and I'm going to project a construction line from this point out into space. And then I'm going to enter to release. I'm going to go ahead, since I am not going to change commands, all I have to do is press enter on the keyboard and type in V for vertical and I'm in the same construction line command. Press enter and there's a vertical construction line and I'm going to pick this point right here. Press enter to release. The maximum depth, maximum depth, I have a line, a horizontal construction line and a vertical construction line. This is the critical intersection right here. Now, this time I'm going to just go ahead and go back to the construction line button. I'm going to pick it and I'm going to type in the letter A for angle and press enter. And the angle that I want is 45 degrees. Press enter. And there is a 45 degree angle. I'm going to go to this intersection right here and that's where I'm going to select. Press enter to release. This is my 45 degree miter line. Now, what I'm going to be able to do is project points from the top view to the 45 degree miter line and then straight down and the dimensions will be correct in the right side view. So the first point I'm going to project over is this one right here. I'm going to select construction line H for horizontal and I'm going to project that one first and this one right here is the second one and I'm going to press enter to release. Notice these are the two I just projected to the 45 degree miter line. I'm going to, since I'm not changing commands, I'm still going to be in construction lines. All I have to do is press enter. I'm going to type in V for vertical and here I have a vertical construction line. Where this construction line intersects the miter line, I pick. Where this construction line intersects the miter line, I pick. Press enter to release. I am projecting this point to the 45 degree miter line and then straight down. This point to the 45 degree miter line and straight down. So I've got the depth in. Now I'm going to need the height. I'm, on, I'm still in construction line. I press enter. I'm going to type in H for horizontal and I'm going to project the height of this piece to the right side view. Press enter to release. Now I can change to the visible layer, pick line, and I can complete this part of the right side view by following my construction lines, the ones that I just projected. This is the height, this was the depth. Now, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is project the diameter of this drill hole to the 45 degree miter line and then down. First thing I'm going to do is, so that you can see it better, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this particular construction line because it lines up exactly with this corner. And it is a good construction line, but I want you to see how, we're going to, how, how it's done. I'm going to pick it. Notice the grips. We're going to talk about grips here in just a little bit. And I'm, pick, I'm going to pick delete on the keyboard. I could have selected, of course, erase on the modify toolbar, but I just deleted it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little closer so that you can see this particular uh, drill hole. I'm going to pick construction line. Nope, nope, can't just yet. I'm going to select and change to the layout layer. I'm going to pick construction line and I'm going to type in H for horizontal, press enter. This is the diameter from this quadrant of the, of the drill hole to this quadrant of the drill hole. That is the diameter of the drill hole. This is the center line. I'm going to pick it as well. 
So I'm going to be transferring, then I'm going to enter to release, the diameter of the drill hole and the center line. Now I'm going to go back out. Now, here they are, all three of them intersecting the miter line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select construction line, and I'm going to type in V for vertical. This top one, this projection, I'm going to pick where it intersects the 45 degree miter line, and there is the beginnings of that diameter. This next one is, shows that I've already projected. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to pick again, and there is the other diameter. That's the full diameter of that drill hole. The center line, follow it to the 45 degree miter line, and then at the intersection, pick, and I've projected the center line to the right side view. I'm going to press Enter to release. Now I'm going to change to the hidden layer and I'm going to pick line and I'm going to pick a line from here to here that's one part of the diameter the left side of that drill hole I'm going to right I'm going to enter again pick pick enter to release this these are the two hidden lines that is the diameter of that drill hole. I'm going to change to the center layer. I'm going to pick line. I'm going to pick, pick, enter to release. There is the center line to that particular drill hole. Now notice that the center lines extend a little bit past the visible lines. We're going to do the same thing with this guy. I want you to come in and you're going to pick the center line. Notice that you're going to get grips. These are the blue boxes. They are a modify command, really. You can do several modify. There's several options in modify that you can do with the grips. You'll learn that later. I'm going to pick this grip on top. It turns red. That means it's been invoked. It's active. I'm going to move straight up. I don't care how far I go because I'm going to give it a distance of 0.25. Press enter. See, it came up 0.25. I'm going to pick this one at the bottom. It turned red. It's active. I'm going to come down 0.25. Press enter. And I'm going to hit escape to release the grips, to get rid of them. They're gone. What I have right now is a hidden line, a hidden line, and from here to here, a center line. The next thing, notice that I've got a drill hole here. I'm going to change back to the layout layer, and I'm going to select construction line, H for horizontal. I'm going to go from this quadrant of the drill hole across the diameter to this intersection, pick it, and also the center line, and enter to release. So now what I have is from here to here is the diameter, this is the center line. I'm going to change back to the hidden layer, pick line, and I'm going to draw a hidden line from here to here. That's a hidden line. Press Enter to release. Enter again. I'm going to need hidden line again. And I'm going to pick from here to here. Enter to release. Now I have to change to the center layer. I pick line. I'm going to pick from here to here. Enter to release. Now here I've got a center line. I'm not going to extend these out until you can see it better so that you can see how it's done a little better than we did with these guys here. I want you to notice how all the layout lines kind of cover up some of your red visible lines. Well what I want you to do is come out here away from everything. All I want you to do is select the yellow lines, the yellow construction lines with a crossing window. A hidden line, a, a, a dotted 
line is a crossing window. Pick it. There are the grips indicating that you have selected those construction lines. Get away from this because I don't want I don't want you to accidentally capture your uh, visible line. Get away from it. Another crossing window this way, and you've got those. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go to the draw no modify modify um, panel in the ribbon and I want you to notice it say it says bring to front click this guy down send to back that's what you want to do you want to send all those construction lines behind your red visible lines and your your blue hidden lines in the green center line so you you pick send to back and that's exactly what happened. Notice that all the red visible lines are visible now, as, as well as all the other lines. But I'm going to show you another thing, something that's even better. I want you to come here, and I want you to pick your layers. Here's the layout. I want you to notice that bulb. You're going to turn the layout layer off. Pick it, and all, your, all those construction lines are turned off. Now I'm going to extend this center line out 0.25. Watch. I'm going to pick it. Notice the grips. I'm going to pick this one, make it hot, come across, come out, type in. Don't go up accidentally. Don't go down. You've got to be polar tracking. you got to see that green dotted line. Type in 0.25. Press enter. Pick this one. Turn it red, come out, your polar tracking, 0.25, press enter, escape to release the command. This top, front, right side view, this is ready for printing. And that's the end of the X line, the construction line tutorial.